John Wick 4. I finally got to see this movie. It was very difficult for me to see this movie because here's the thing. I usually go on the Thursday night preview or Friday so I can see this movie and have a review out for you guys as early as possible. But because this movie was three hours long and a bunch of other crap went down, I had a hard time getting out to the theater. So I am uploading this review uh, today instead of Friday like I normally do with new release titles. And it will be the same this week. Uh, there will be no review for any new release movie because I've already seen Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, but I will have a review of the Evil Dead 2013 on Friday and videos planned for this weekend. So that just an indication of my re review schedule in case anyone was wondering on that. But there's plenty of videos coming out of the pipeline. Let me know your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let's get into it. So I really enjoyed this movie. I'm not a huge John Wick fan. Um, I can safely say that. I watched all the movies. And I finally got to see this one. And I I do want to talk some spoilers. But I'll do that towards the end. And I'll warn about it. My main problem with this movie. Is it is a little bit too long. But other than that. I really love this movie. Um, and that's something I can't really say about any of the other John Wick movies. I, I, I Because I don't know. For me, uh, I really enjoyed Nobody out of all the, uh, more than any of the John Wick movies, which I kind of watch with the John Wick movies, so that's just kind of how I think about it, is I, th I feel like Nobody is part of the John Wick universe, if you ask me, but what I really liked about this movie is, uh, the action scenes, of course, are amazing, as always, um, they are a little bit ridiculous and overly long in this movie, but it's John Wick, like, and when I say ridiculous, I mean, like, you got a dude uh, who's beating up other dudes and there's shootings and there's firearms going off and and this club and everyone's still dancing and they only start freaking out and leaving after the fight is over you know like that's ridiculous like of course you know people be panicking and they saw people doing that in real life um, the, towards the end there's a lot of people coming after John Wick and cars are getting smashed into and you're like man if someone got this hit this many times or throw down the stairs like this they'd be dead and of course like you know for for a lot of that it's like whatever but i feel like anybody who's seen these movies is kind of used to that crap in this kind of these kind of movies so either you're either here for it or you're not to say the least and then there's also the fact of simply just the fact that like it's like mission impossible Mission Impossible, you watch for the action scenes and the plot you give us a shit about. So this one, I think I gave more of a shit about the plot because they went a bunch of uh, different directions I didn't expect. Um, I mean, if you see in the trailer, it's hinted that they go to Japan and that was an interesting uh, plot line in the movie. And then, you know, we got this cool blind character. It was really interesting as a great story arc throughout the movie. Um, a lot of great moments in this movie and it was a very strong movie again it did not it was a little bit too long and not like super long I think it was about 15 to 10 minutes too long but that's kind of with all these movies I think they're all a little bit too long I, I also I'm just somebody who take that with a grain of salt though because I'm someone who watched nobody and enjoyed that more because it was just an hour and a half instead of these over uh, two hour long movies so Again, take my, my opinion with that on a grain of salt. Let's get into the spoilers. So spoilers for this movie. And John Wick fucking dies. I, so what was interesting about this is I went into the bathroom. And when I went to go use the bathroom, I heard people talking who had just come out of the movie. And they go, man, there's uh, post credit scenes. For that John Wick, you're not going to expect what happens, right? So I go and sit down back in the movie. My 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 showtime of the movie still playing. So sit back in the movie. And when John Wick died, I was like, oh, he's not actually dead. They're going to reveal it at the end of the credits, and we're gonna get our setup for John Wick 5. Or you'll see like Keanu for a minute, and it'll be like John Wick will return in part five or some shit. 
No. Uh, it's His death scene is very interesting because it was foreshadowed earlier in the movie. John Wick goes to... Um, he goes to... Uh, forget the character's name, but basically he's like, what I want on my tombstone, loving husband, and, and so that ties into later in the end where him and his wife are put together, loving wife, loving husband. Perfect end for that character. But I'm just shocked that it happened. Like, I can't believe that happened. It was also like when we saw the Continental uh, New York Hotel, you know, go down in this movie. You're like, what? Like, those scenes were like, oh. So that's what I mean. Like, I enjoyed the plot of this movie because it, it, it took some directions I didn't expect. John Wick dying. I can't believe that. And it's because it, the interesting thing about this movie is most of the cast, like Keanu and the directors of this movie, they have said that they don't really want to do another one. And, you know, are they're going to take a break. So I just assumed that meant that we're going to get more later on. Or maybe Lionsgate would go with some different directors for another one. But no, uh, you can't make another John Wick. He's dead. I mean, you can. Franchises do worse stuff. We could get de-aged Keanu... <laughs> prequels from of the john wick universe i mean why not there's they clearly set up in all these movies that there's a huge universe so why not dh keanu or get a younger actor to play younger keanu reeves right i mean that's a thing that they could do i guess i'm not saying i would want that i'm also not saying i'd be totally against that either so i really don't know how to feel about that but yeah i watched this movie and i was very confused about all that i'm like what are we doing here because you know it's also weird because this is a Lionsgate movie uh Lionsgate if you don't know is a company that's been struggling for decades it doesn't have a franchise like these big studios do you know Disney has all their big stuff uh Warner Brothers has big stuff maybe not so much that's working out for them but they're trying you know they got uh Sony's got you know some stuff like Ghostbusters and Marvel and other things like you know the spider-man stuff not marvel but you know what i mean um so all these studios have big properties and stuff lionsgate doesn't that's hence why we're getting another hellboy reboot hence why we're getting a hunger games prequel this year hence why we're getting salt 10 so it's really fascinating to me that we're ending the john wick franchise and not that this is the complete end they've hinted at more stuff involving uh the John Wick universe uh there's a continental show that they've talked about there's spin-offs and stuff cool down for any of that if we get it. I want to see what that is you know because honestly it might be more interesting than the John Wick movies I hate to say that and the reason I say that is Keanu Reeves doesn't do anything in these movies but look cool and shoot people like he doesn't really have a lot of dialogue he's not the most fascinating character so when we talk about like john wick being like like this franchise it's like okay i don't know but i also don't know how well this franchise will do because yeah this this franchise has an interesting mythology it has you know things is setting up throughout the other movies and stuff little details about characters but at the end of the day the general audience knows these movies are just the movies where Keanu Reeves goes and kills people they don't really care about the plot so if they made another John Wick movie without Keanu Reeves killing people would people show up I can't really say yes or no on that because I don't really know so I'm just curious what they're going to do with these movies I, I had a good time watching it I'll, I'll probably pre-order this one no, I'm 100% pre-ordering this one gotta have it uh, to complete my John Wick set but like god damn I don't know what the shit they're doing with these John Wick movies anymore and that's something I didn't expect to say coming out of the fourth one but if this is the last one and we don't get any more from this franchise awesome they gave a good end to the character if you want to do some spinoffs with some other characters sure why not I'll check those out hopefully they're good but I think this is a good place to stop but we know Hollywood, they don't stop. God damn it, why did you make so many Highlander movies? There can be only one. I'm just saying.